everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks um, as you can see the layout here is different and that's because I share the tripod that I use to film my videos uh, I share that, that tripod with my husband and my husband uses it for photography he had to take it into uh, work this week and we accidentally left it at work so I film at home um, and so this is going to be a different setup instead of the top down. So I hope that's not a problem. I'll try to keep everything in um, screen as much as possible and also show you if it, I feel like it's at an angle where flat, laying flat, it's hard to see and I'll try and lift it up a little bit. So I do apologize about that. I'm also the kind of makeshift tripod I'm using right now is a little bit unstable. So if I am moving my hands and accidentally shaking the camera, I do also apologize about that in advance. And then um, lastly, the lighting, because the layout is a little bit different, the lighting might be a little bit different as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, get into the plan with me. I'll be completely honest, I don't think I'm doing that much of a different layout from previous weeks. So if you're um, looking for a video that, if you've already seen some of my plan with me's and you're looking for a video that's um, showing a completely different layout, this week is probably not that week. Um, but you might wanna just kind of um, speed ahead and see if it is a layout that in interests you. But like I said, it's most likely going to be very similar to the previous week at, uh, week's layout. I'll go ahead and show you that here. So basically, here we go, it's a little bit awkward. Um, so basically I had events and uh, my work schedule and different events and things happening on the left side. And then I divided the left side vertically so that way you had this um, little uh, one third of a box on the um, far right side of this page and here I just put thankful thoughts clearly I haven't finished that um, I am filming on Saturday so I'm really only one day behind and then I had my to-do list um, I am a teacher and I'm in the fourth week of our term which is the end of the term and we have to do progress reports so I had that so this isn't something that will be in the week that, I, um, that I'm creating now and then my fitness and workout which um, basically is non-existent this week because I've been super busy so um, my layout's more or less going to look very similar to this, but I'm going to be using different washing stickers, that sort of thing. All right, so the what I decided to use uh, this week is some leftover stickers from a, an Erin Condren vertical sticker layout kit that I had actually used a year prior. So this, and this is why I have all these things, this is my Erin Condren, and this is the sticker layout that I did. I actually did this August of last year. And I had this like very um, like hot pink, orange, uh, what is this, like a, it's not a Kelly green, but it's, it's kind of, uh, it's a little bit more of a, like a tropical green, I guess, um, sticker kit. And I had a whole bunch of leftover stickers. I don't remember the name of the shop or even if the shop is still open and um, selling stickers, but I will leave a link um, below if they are and also the name of the shop as well. But here are the leftover stickers. And I just put these all in a, a sticker collecting, like a sticker collecting album, which is basically just an album that has these like slightly thicker versions of a, of a like a wax paper where you can put stickers on here and then you can peel them up fairly easily and the sticker is still sticky and then the paper doesn't um, rip or peel. So I'm gonna use some of this. I really like this um, washi here that I think I'm going to use. I might include some of these checklists and some of these headers because I can't really use this for another spread. There's really not enough. And I did want to incorporate some of these colors again. And then what I also thought I might bring in is some washi. This is just here in case I feel like I need more dividers that I can't do with these stickers. Um, these are both Simply Gilded washi uh, sets. These, um, they're both from the Tropical Collection, I believe. Um, the original Tropical Collection was this green and this pink. They have specific names. I don't remember washi names. 
Um, they have kind of a hot gold foiling uh, for the bows, and they originally came in the 15 millimeter, which is this size, and then the slightly narrower 10 millimeter size, and then um, uh, I think this was, was it last year or early this year? I don't remember. I know that this add-on was in a um, Simply Gilded subscription box as an add-on. It's been a while. I've been a subscriber to the um, Simply Gilded subscription box off and on, so I don't remember exactly when these um, were part of it, but they are the five millimeter bows, so they're really tiny bows, in the, um, and they're all horizontal. So those I'm also thinking about using. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I do like the idea of doing the thankful thoughts, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with that. The pen that I'm using is the um, Hobonichi Techo 2019 pen that comes with your Hobonichi if you purchase directly from the website. It's basically a uniball jet stream, I believe. Um, it's technically a ballpoint or a ballpoint hybrid, and it comes in three colors. I've accidentally pulled off the um, clip here, but they're usually pretty sturdy. I just tend to really play with my clips and it finally broke. So I'm actually really happy because I had lost this pen um, at school. I had left it at school, didn't realize I had left it there and was like, couldn't find this for a few days and then rediscovered it um, in one of the classrooms. And I was like, that's definitely my pen. So I went ahead and reclaimed it. What I've gone ahead and done is I've done that vertical line um, on this left side of the page. So if you are new to Hobonichi, Hobonichi on the left side is a horizontal layout, but they do have these little dots that divide the horizontal section into three squares. And so I just went ahead and connected all the dots on the far right side to get that um, square section um, on the right side of this page. Hmm, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do thankful thoughts there. I think if I wanted to do, I might do one of these headers at the top, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait on that. No, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, um, no, I'm gonna wait. Uh, I am going, oh, wow, I'm like really confused because uh, it's been a while and this is also a different layout for me, so. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom washi down because that's usually what I do first. And I'm thinking I might add in this thin pink washi. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the thin pink washi first. So that way I can go top, bottom, um, from top to bottom. So this past week was really hectic for me. I did post, um, leave a, I did make a post on YouTube saying that I probably wouldn't be able to upload any videos this week, or at least not at the beginning of the week. Um, it is Saturday now. I have big plans to get a lot done and try to film, um, or try to edit videos and then upload them. The only problem is I don't know if I'm actually going to have time today because I have lots to do. Um, because it was the end of, I know this is really hard to see because I'm left-handed. Let's see if I can try to do it right-handed. Um, so because I am a teacher and it's the end of the, the term, we do progress reports. And I have more students this term than I've had uh, previous terms. So I've had more progress reports. I've had more final like essays that I've needed to grade. And um also starting next week i'm going to be working with my school's summer program so i'm trying to kind of get that squared away and make sure that i'm ready and that the program's ready for um starting next week i'm going to be in the like academic director position so just needing to make sure everything's squared away so because of that it just was a really really hectic week but I'm excited for this new, uh, our new like school term coming up. It's summer, so we're gonna have more students. 
which is exciting in some ways. We have a lot, of, we're gonna have um, some younger students, which means a lot more like energy in the classroom, which I think is a good thing. I think that's important to have. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. So I'm just, I like to leave a little bit of a gap. I guess this kind of carries over from when I plan in my Erin Condren. I like to leave a little bit of a space in between my washi. Let's see. Oop, I forgot. This doesn't peel up very well. So you can kind of see there. And I'm just using this dashboard um, or pencil board as a, like, just to cut the washi as a straight edge. So there we go, there's the bottom. I did rip the paper at the bottom trying to peel that sticker up a little bit, but no big deal. All right, I am really liking that pink color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do schedule. I think for this one, I'm gonna do today. And I'm not gonna do the today sticker for each one. I think that's a little bit excessive. I have done that in the past in some of my older, like so one of the first Hovenichi videos I made, I did um, today for each section of the week. And it's a lot. It's a lot to put together. And it's also just a lot to, a lot of stickers that are very repetitive. I think on this one, I'm gonna do, you know, I don't really like the little thing stickers for Erin Condren. I've always found it a little bit strange that you would say that they're like little things. I kind of like it here for the thankful thoughts, only it's way too big for that tiny box. So never mind. Not gonna use it. I think I'm gonna use this little asterisk here and then just cut it down in size. So I'll just take a pair of scissors and cut it down so it better fits that square box. And I'll try to cut it straight. It's not that straight. Uh, but maybe no one will notice. Okay, I need to cut a lot more. So I saw Toy Story 4 yesterday. It was really good. I don't know if it's like I'm just biased because I like Toy Story or I like movies. Like I feel like I have a, I feel like in the past I've been slightly um, kind of just a, not an ambivalent movie goer, but in the past before I had the AMC A-list, where I was before, um, when I was just going to the movies occasionally, I generally liked all the movies that I've, uh, that I saw. Like I, I didn't, it's very rare, in the past it was very rare that I actually, um, to go to clean to buy, I need a, actually, let's see if I can rip the, not rip this up, pull this up without ripping the paper. I think I wanna move the today to the other side as kind of my to-do list. There we go. A little bit of ripping. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that away because I have like six of them and I don't, need all of them and I'm going to use the word the reminder sticker in place so it's a reminder of the things I need to do this week there we go so there is that and then I'm going to put up here thankful thoughts so what I was saying about movies is that when I didn't go to the movies that often I generally rated movies pretty well like I was always like oh that was a good movie I liked it but since I've gone, started going to the movies, and this has been happening for about six months now, um, cause I, or about seven months, because I did get the A-list, I did become a member of the A-list in December. I've seen a lot more movies, and because of that, I feel like I can, I have a better sense of when a movie is like really good or really bad, and for example, I really didn't like Godzilla, uh, Godzilla. Like it was okay, it's a fun like summer movie, but it's, actually I'm gonna use this washi here. Um, it's a fun summer movie, but it's not great. And um, 
so I enjoyed it but it was just okay but like Toy Story I really liked and of course I cried at the very end because it's Pixar and Toy Story um it was one of those like I was watching and I was like is this sad it's not really sad it's sad but it's also joyful and yet I was like I had like tears streaming down my face and and then afterwards my husband was like did you cry and I was like yes a whole lot and I don't know why it was like one of those crying moments like I it reminded me of when I was um at my, when I was getting married I was just like blah like just water was running down my face so I to me it was a good movie I don't know I, I'd, I'd be curious as to hear what you thought um about it I thought it was a really it was a really nice ending um sad but good right um and the movie itself was a whole lot of fun as well. All right, uh, so this is gonna be my to-do list. And then here I am gonna do fitness. Let's do goals as um, for fitness. And I might even do the asterisk uh, as well. Sometimes if you've had the stickers on this paper for a while, it, um, they stick pretty well. They do come up, but it just requires you to bend the paper a little bit more. And then uh, my nails are growing out. Yay! Um, but it, that means that it's taking me a while to... Uh, it, it. I don't have a really good... It doesn't... The stickers don't pull up as well for me as they might for somebody else. All right, so sorry, left-handed on this, which is totally not working for the way this camera is set up. But I'm going to go ahead and just overlap that sticker a little bit and do goals. And then I'll be writing in fitness goals. Fitness goals. Is that too far to spread out? Probably. Maybe I'll see if I can find like a shoe to put in between. Let's see. a few fitness things here. I have a running person, but it's blue. That's not useful. I have this big set of weights that's pink. Blue. Oh, this green might work. Oh, no, the green's a slightly different color. Maybe I'll do the weights. I don't know, this pink is also a little bit cool toned for yeah, that's way too big also. I could do those little weights in this kind of peachy red color. Fitness goals. That looks weird. I think that would be better over here. Fitness goals. What do you all think? I'm not super pleased with how much space is in between fitness and goals, but Maybe do a heart. Nah, I kind of made it worse, I think. Oh well. Um, let's see. I'll do a close up afterwards of what all of this looks like. Okay, so fitness goals. I think I'm just going to draw a line. Make sure I'm going to count seven spaces to make sure I have one line for each day of the week. And then maybe an extra space or two just so that it doesn't look super cramped. And then another line, which actually I'm probably gonna use washi. I, you probably don't wanna do the lines because honestly you can see the lines behind the washi, but I just forgot that I was gonna use washi as dividers. So that is why I was uh, making the lines. All right. This, uh, so yesterday, which was Friday, we had our end of term party, and I know Eid has passed. Um, Eid is, let's see, so my understanding is, because I'm not Muslim, um, but that in um, Islam, you have the month of Ramadan, which is where there's the fasting during daylight hours, and then you can break your fast um, 
after the sun has set or when the sun is when when it's nighttime and so after the month of Ramadan then you have Eid which is the kind of like breaking that fast and kind of going I guess like it's like a celebrate a big celebration and stuff and so even though I know Eid was at the beginning of June and our school knows that as well um, we wanted to go ahead and celebrate that with all of our students because we do have several um, Muslim students and so we did the end of term party as like an Eid celebration so we had a lot of um, I think we got we got like a bunch of food from like a local restaurant that kind of caters more towards um, the Middle Eastern community and um, we just had like a bunch of like food a lot of food and like games and stuff and it was just a really nice I think end of term party for all of our students all right this last section I'm actually not quite sure what I want to put here um, just flipping through to kind of get a sense oh tracking that's what I can do I didn't do tracking last week and I forgot. So I'm gonna go ahead and use another one of these headers. I'm gonna use this one using all the asterisks. And I'm gonna put tracking. but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and write out what I'm tracking. So I am still kind of keeping track of the same things. Um, so vitamins, I've been really inconsistent with taking my vitamins, better but still inconsistent. Meditation, meditation has been better, but I think the weekend is still difficult for me to read. Like, I just because my, my morning schedule's really relaxed. Journaling has been non-existent. I do want to try and catch up on that um, this weekend a little bit. Reading, reading has been hit or miss. There is a readathon this weekend, I think, starting. So I want to try and make sure I do a little bit of reading each day. Um, 15 minute tidying uh, this past week was not that good because I've been really busy, but I'm hoping that this week will be better. And then last thing, hand care, which is basically kind of making sure that my hands are moisturized and that um, I don't really have any dry skin at the tips and that my nails are filed and I'm also using like cuticle oil and stuff because I am trying to strengthen and grow my nails out, which they are getting um, a little bit longer, at least for some of them. So, so far it's been, because I've been more focused on it, it's been more, um, it's been working better. I'm also gonna spread out the uh, checklist tracking. So before I was having the tracking be, um, one like one column and I would just do a check mark this week I went ahead and spread it out a little bit further and I'll see how that works out for me so each day of the week takes up two spaces not quite sure how I want to work with it if I want to do like if I take part of my vitamins um, then maybe I'll do half because I tend to take like half of the vitamins but I forget to take like the third one the multivitamin or something um, meditation it's like you know like the the hand care I was trying to do like morning and evening so I don't know if I might try to do one square for each one or just like one time so I'm not quite sure how I want to use that uh, all the space just yet but I think I do want to I did want to have it spread out a little bit more um, okay and then last thing I'm going to go go ahead and write in the my work schedule and what is going on this week I do have on Wednesday an appointment so I guess I'll go ahead and use this little house sticker. We are getting, um, I have the HVAC maintenance on Wednesday, so I'm actually gonna be missing work in the morning. So let's see, HVAC 
maintenance. And they're coming at like eight in the morning, which is fine. I'd rather get it done earlier than later. Uh, let's see, Thursday. Okay, so everything else is pretty much the same except Monday, I am going into work. I have to be at work at 8.30. And I think that one, I don't, I'm gonna leave that end time open because I'm gonna be making up hours here uh, that I'm missing on Wednesday. So 8.30. 12 30 in the morning and then 2 to 4 p.m. and then 8 30 to actually I'm only doing three hours so it's really like 11 30 and then 2 to 4 p.m. Sorry, I know I'm shaking the camera. I can see it moving. Okay, Saturday the 29th. Let's see. I do not have anything scheduled for the 29th. And I don't have anything scheduled for the 30th either yet. Um, I'm thinking... What am I thinking? I might be going to a movie at some point this week. I just don't know when. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and write Monday, days of the week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, didn't leave enough space. Oh, well. I left enough space, I just didn't leave enough space to keep it from being cramped looking. So I went ahead and wrote all the days of the weekend. Ideally, I would write in what I did on each day. Um, okay, so I think that's going to be it for this week. Well, I guess I will show you. All right, yep, and then I will write in the thankful thoughts as each um, as the day progresses and then also do my checklists. So honestly, I haven't done, I haven't used a whole lot of these stickers. I think, honestly, I'm probably just going to get rid of a lot of these like smaller washi strips. I don't really see how or where I could fit them in. Um, I will probably keep these checklists and use them in other places and these smaller dots I could maybe use for some of the events that um, if anything happens, but I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm not gonna use most of this. I'll keep the, the half boxes, that sort of thing. But I did try to use a little bit of the colors and just, I guess it's really more like the theme. So anyway, here is what it looks like. Let's see if I can not knock the camera over. So there we go. And that's my layout for this week. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in seeing more of my layouts in Hobonichi Weeks or even for Erin Condren, um, please subscribe to my channel and I will, um, I have a few playlists with the Hobonichi Weeks plan with me. And thank you so much for your support and for watching. I will talk to you down in the comments and see you in the next video. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.